Hey guys, I've got a different but very cool product for you today. This monster off-road, dual motor, self-balancing scooter from Outstorm is one of the funnest products I've reviewed. It's basically a segue on steroids. Now instead of my traditional review with a speed, range, hill, and acceleration test, I decided to review the X4 in a series of challenges with my buddy and brother. But before I jump into the first test, I wanted to show you the packaging, which is nice and tidy. The only thing that wasn't snug in the styrofoam was the accessory bag. Now the scooter is big and heavy at 117 pounds. If you don't cut the box, you'll need some help lifting it out. That looks, that's a beast, man. Holy cow. Okay, the instructions. Assembly is simple and fast and only took about 10 minutes before the X4 was ready to ride. Oh boy. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Doing it? Am I doing it? Am I doing it? He's getting used to it now. He is comfortable. It wasn't long before I felt comfortable. I just had to get over the initial shock. It is a little intimidating at first. I've been on balance boards before and had to be careful mounting and dismounting because if you stepped on it wrong, it would take off. That's not the case with this. It's very stable. And just like a balance board, it moves forward or backwards as you lean. The further you lean, the faster it goes, up to a top speed of 13 miles per hour. It also turns very sharp, so much where if done right, one of the wheels will stay in place. Now Outstorm recommends the X4 for adult riders up to 330 pounds, but after seeing my buddy's son tear down the street, I'd have to disagree with that. What you think, Logan? I like it. You like it? He's all padded and geared up. Helmets, knee pads. Slow down. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> there he goes. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You can just hop on this and take off. Dude, he's eight years old and he just jumped on like no problem. This is literally the first time he's ridden, so there's no no learning curve. Yeah, yeah, just hops on and goes. The X4 comes with two 2000 watt motors, one in each of the 19 inch air filled off road tires. Now they're powered by an 84 volt, 8.8 .8 amp hour LG battery that takes four to five hours for a recharge. After I charged up the scooter, I headed over to my brother's house for the first challenge. Take the hill. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, come on. Come on. Oh, I know oh, you're hating it. Doing? Yeah, oh, we're going. Doing? Oh, he did it. <laughs> I'm actually a little surprised you did this. Yeah. Next, it was my brother's turn, who had just hopped on for the first time. I think we'll get used to. We kind of started you off on the wrong foot. Yes. Nice. After much yelling and screaming, he eventually made it. Well, after riding this for a couple days, we noticed these plastic pieces tend to vibrate, especially when you're going off road, which we do not like. And then uh, I looked at it and realized there's just four bolts. Thank you for the, uh, <laughs> the fingers. <laughs> I gotta help somehow. <laughs> and uh, so we decided to take them off. We got one off already, which I think it actually looks kind of beefier and cooler with them off. So. Uh, here's the second one and then we'll do another run over some rough terrain and see if it still vibrates. Okay, I got my brother and Matt out here. We came out to this uh, kind of no man's land next to these houses here with a bunch of hills. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun out here. There's a lot of, a lot of obstacles. The next challenge was making it through this 50 foot section of trail without falling <laughs> off. <laughs> well, there's an ignominious start. <laughs> the X4 is rated to climb up to a 35% slope, and I think I exceeded that by getting up on the trail. It's hard to tell or see, but the scooter does come with spring suspension. Now, it's not the best suspension, but I did feel it maneuver a little when navigating the trickier parts of the trail. <laughs> Okay, so we decided not to do time trials on this one because it is proving to be quite challenging. I just did it and uh, fell off about three times. Here's uh, Matthew. How many times are we gonna fall? Yeah, yeah. The challenge is not so much time; it's just trying to get through it. Come on, Thank come you. on. <laughs> we got Matt. He's doing pretty good. He's over halfway. He, uh, well, you've only fallen off once, right? 
Oh, oh, oh shit! <laughs> right the We've got Mr. Ben Hyde. It is his time. Oh, he is going crazy already. <laughs> oh, help. Oh, help. Oh, help. <laughs> we were wondering if oh, speed was, was the answer for this challenge or nice and slow, and I think we just got our answer. He has recovered from his horrendous oh, crash. Oh, he biffs it again. Ah, <laughs> well, come back. Come back. Well, you would have had it, but um, you got high centered there. So we kept on bottoming out on the kickstand portion of things. So we're actually going to just take that thing off. Because it hangs down about three inches. So for yeah, the train that inches. we have planned and have already gone through, we are not liking the kickstand. Once we took off the kickstand, I made it without falling off. My brother and Matt got close. They each fell off twice. And as far as the rattling with the side panels I took off earlier, it was gone. The ride was nice and quiet. Okay, so you can actually, um, you know, set the position how you want to. Like, uh, so the uh, balance position is either a little bit leaning forward or back. And how you do that is you first unlock the scooter by hitting A, and now you can just, you know, easily move it back and forth. Find the right position. So, I mean, you can move this way forward if you want a lot of room from where you're standing to the handlebars. I kind of like to have them more upright. Once you find the spots, you hold down C and D. until you hear that long beep. Hit A again, and now it's recalibrated and balanced to where you want it to. You can also adjust the handlebars just unscrew this piece pull it out here there's a plastic piece that will come with it as you pull so you kind of just have to hold that with one hand but i want to show you how high it can go this is its highest position here and then its lowest position here like when we had your son on it we lowered it down here and like it was manageable he was he was cruising around like taking this to the, the top speed Okay, this next challenge is what we're going to call the figure eight challenge. This section had a mix of weeds, leaves, and ruts, and wasn't as rough as the previous test, so this time we did a time trial. Right, oh, 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 I almost hit that big quad. And yes, I am treating this like a time trial. Oh, mud! Stop beeping! <laughs> The scooter does beep if you're putting too much strain on it, which does get annoying after a while, but then again we were putting this through some hard terrain. When I was riding it normal, even on a bumpy trail, it hardly ever beeped, and handled the bumps very well. There were a few times I was going as fast as it could go and felt stable, and even wanted to go faster. Next it was my turn for the figure 8 challenge where I ended up being about 6 seconds faster than my brother. Matt ended up going last and had the fastest time for this challenge. The last challenge was making it around the two trees through some dense and thick grass. The scooter was able to make it through it, but it didn't like it and started to smoke a little after a couple rounds, so we decided to end the test and let it cool down. Now after about two and a half hours of constant riding, the battery finally died, which I thought did pretty good considering the abuse that we put it through. If you were to keep it on the road or trail, Outstorm says you should be able to reach 28 to 34 miles depending on the speed mode that can be switched with the remote. The beginner mode tops the scooter out at 7 miles per hour, the advanced mode tops out at 13. If the X4 dies on the trail, it is easy to pull, the tires move freely, and if you ever want to try some night riding, it does come with some very bright headlights that look beastly and cool coming at you, and then some tail lights that are also bright and will blink in the direction you're turning. Outstorm doesn't recommend taking the X4 in wet weather, but it does come with a 1-year warranty, 24-hour support, and can be picked up for $2,297. Now, as you can probably tell, I like the X4 and had a ton of fun on it. I do wish it had a little more power and torque to climb, but other than that, I was happy with it and thought it held up well to the challenges we put it through, which were probably above and beyond what it was designed to do. I've got the link in the description if you want more info. Also, check out my website, electricrevolutionreviews.com for all my reviews. I've got them sorted by price and capability to help you find the right scooter. Before you go, hit that like button and please subscribe for the latest in electric bike, board, and scooter reviews. Thanks for watching and take care.